And as you can see, I'm in a completely different getup today. I'm wearing a sari because I'm filming another video for you for the wedding season. So I'm doing a series of wedding season makeup looks. So for all you girls out there who want to get ready at home. And I'm not a makeup artist, but I'm just like you. And if I could do it, you could do it as well. So these are just uh, wedding inspired looks and today I've opted for a sari and it's a beautiful sari that um, actually I made this. Um, this is a rose and like orangey coloured sari and I've just got this um, beading going that I just got from Srina Palace and um, yeah so I hope you guys are enjoying this series I hope it's helping you to sort of get inspired to do some looks for yourself for this wedding season and um, for all you girls out there who want to get like sort of ready at home don't worry about it you can do it and I hope I can help you and I can inspire you um, so today I'm gonna do a chit chat get ready with me I haven't done one of these properly I don't think I've really Actually, I didn't mean to do a chit chat with you usually, and I think I just chit chat my way through it anyway. So today is like a proper chit chat video. So if you want to keep um, watching, I would advise you to have some time because this is probably going to be a long video. Um, so I'm going to tell you everything I'm putting on my face, and I'm going to just talk to you uh, about what I'm doing uh, with my makeup. And I hope you guys are liking these videos. And for all you girls out there who want to get ready at home for your weddings that are coming up with your friends, I hope these videos help you. Keep watching. Gold makeup look, and I'm gonna use this uh, MAC pigment, uh, and it's called Rose. Okay. I got the travel sized ones. Yeah, that's the pigment I'm gonna mainly use, okay? So I'm just going to prime my eyes. Oh, and I've also done my eyebrows off camera. Okay, but I'm just going to prime my eyes with um, MAC Paint Pot. Uh, and this is uh, Soft Ochre, and I love this one. It's uh, one of the best primers and it's like very recommended. Even other YouTubers like sort of love it. Next, I'm going to go in with something new that I've got, and this is by MAC. It's the single shadows that I got, and this is in the color Tracks. So tracks. I'm gonna go in with Tracks with a MAC flat brush like this. Just gonna put that in the crease. Just as a transition color. It doesn't really matter how you put this, because there's a lot of other colors that come after it. Then I'm going to take this color right here, okay, the orange color right here. I'm just going to put that also over the lid and just blend the two. My cream shadow brush from Bobbi Brown, and I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus. right into my pigment. Now this pigment is usually very hard to work with because it's like very pink. Okay, so I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to move on to my face. I've just popped on some lashes and uh, liner. Um, sorry if, it, if the earlier part was like super far. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> sorry, I hope you guys can still see everything I was doing. So we're going to move on to my face. My face is nothing on. We're going to just take some um, cotton wool and some makeup remover. And this is the Lancome Bifacial. Take a little 
keep it and then clean up any of the fallout. Okay? And today I'm going to talk about what I'm doing rather than just power flowing through it. See all that pigment, like you know, you can see it's pinkish. It's all so you know, nicely clean in the lot. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to my face. Starting off with this, uh, you guys know the deal. This is my favorite moisturizer for when I'm wearing any makeup and this is the Bobby Brown Bobby Brown vitamin enriched face base and oh, when you're doing your makeup like after I do my eyes I always go in and wash my hands because uh, you don't want to like use dirty hands on your face as well as hands that have like any shadows so you want to always wash your hands before you go on to your face. Today I'm using the MAC Peptide Prime and this is a skin base, skin base visage and I love this. But this has a bit of a um, shine, like a little bit of sparkle in it. But it's okay, because it's ruining and you could look a little luminous. Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Foundation. Just gonna take a few pumps to my hand and then just put it on my. Sorry, I do not have a mirror near me today, so I. Okay. I'm gonna take my damn beauty blender and just blend it all out. If you guys want to know more about the Beauty Blender, I did like a video on it, uh, only about the Beauty Blender, like a Beauty Blender 101 thing. So, if you want to know more, I'll leave the link down below, okay? Okay, for concealer today, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I use it in NC20. Oh, a little bit goes a long way with this because it's so pigmented. So you don't want to put too much. Because you're also wasting product and it's just going to be so much of product. I love how I look like when I do this. And you want to do like a triangle because it actually shows like it's uh, where the high points of your face is and the light catches and it makes it look lifted that's why you do this in this motion and I'm just putting some onto my sides of my nose so that it's not oh yeah about this nail um, it's a long story I injured this finger so I had to take everything off and just keep it um, without anything. So don't mind this thing, guys. So okay. Okay, I'm gonna blend that in with the blender as well. Doing your whole makeup with a compact is like really difficult. It's really
just gonna set my contour and I got a new MAC thing. So I picked this up when I was in Italy, but I hadn't opened it. I hadn't unboxed it. So I'm gonna do it now with you guys on camera. So this is a Studio Scarf Defining Powder. And it's in medium deep. Medium deep, this one. So yeah. I think it's a little, not as dark as my usual one, which I love and I use all the time and I've even hit pan and that's matte bronze, that's this one right here and this is called medium deep okay. but it's another matte shade by these blushes I'm just gonna pop this one right here because it kind of matches the kind of look that we're gonna go for today so Today I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs um, lip cream in um, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and it is a really really pretty colour. Um, I just wanted a soft pink and I didn't want anything too like dark. 